guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be making whole wheat bread. This bread is in demand because it's very healthy and people normally go outside looking for it, but why not make it at home? It's actually really easy to make. For this, we will be needing two cups of whole wheat flour, half cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of this Italiano bread improver. Um, this is a completely optional, but I'm using it because we want our bread to be well better. We need two teaspoons of instant yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, I'm using brown crystallized sugar, two tablespoons of olive oil, one egg, and one cup of warm milk. This is lukewarm milk, so you can just dip your finger in it and you won't burn. Okay, I'm gonna start by sifting in our dry ingredients. This uh, bread flour, I mean the whole wheat flour, is already sifted. So I'm gonna start by adding in our all-purpose flour, our yeast, and our bread and proofer. I'm gonna add the salt later because it's crystallized, so it won't go through the sift. our salt and sugar okay. so okay, I'm just gonna mix this using my whisk now. and I'm gonna add in my wet ingredients now so that's the olive oil one egg this egg is at room temperature you don't want the egg to be cold and we're gonna add in the milk whilst it is mixing I'm gonna turn the mixer on and I'm gonna add in half of our milk so that's half cup of milk And I'm just going to keep on mixing this and add in the milk if it doesn't stick to anything. And I'm just adding the milk in and we're adding the whole one cup of milk. We cannot mix, mix up the ratio. So that's our milk. It's done. And I'm just going to let the dough come together. So it's starting to come together. I put it on high speed and now we're just going to take it off. This took around 5 to 10 minutes to knead. I have a quarter cup of all-purpose flour here which we're going to be using for kneading the dough. I'm just gonna take the dough out now. I dusted some all-purpose flour on the counter and I have started to knead this. This is around a quarter cup of all-purpose flour which I'm just going to slowly add in. Well needed. I was kneading it, I rolled the dough out and I like spread it out. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going to fold in the edges And from the other side too. And then we're gonna take the sides and just roll them in. And just knead it. I've used around one eighth cup of all purpose flour while kneading. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put some oil in here. Use my hand to spread it around, and then with the oil on my hand. I'm just going to rub it around. Take some more. There. Alright, okay. I'm gonna put a cotton cloth on top of this and put this outside to proof for one hour. Sunlight for around one hour to one hour thirty minutes. But because it's about to be sunset, we're gonna be putting it in the home oven. I showed you this in my previous video as well. Okay. What it is it is basically this hop, uh, hop all of water underneath and then on top of the rack I'm keeping uh, this uh, thing. So I'm gonna, I have my mini buns in there as well which you will be seeing in my videos and I'm putting this into okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this and I'm going to let it be for around another 30 to 1 hour. I'm resting for 2 hours and I'm going to take it out now. Wow. Okay. It has 
rice a lot. Okay, you know the dough is also ready when it just when you push it in and it pops back up. Okay. I'm gonna flour our surface over here because we're going to be kneading this. Oh my god, that was so satisfying. It feels so good and airy. Okay, now I'm just gonna roll this out. And push it down. This is a rolling technique which I've also told in my mini buns recipe. Okay, then what you do is that you pat it down when it's become long. Okay, and then you fold the sides in. Looks so good and smells amazing. Now we're going to roll it. Okay. Then just make it into a nice circle shape. Okay. I'm gonna put this back in here and I'm going to let this rest in the oven again for around 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Oh, but when I said that we need to put this in the oven, I didn't mean to turn the oven on and bake it already. I'm going to put this in a hot plate, so that means putting hot water in our pan back here, and then putting the gloss box on top. So I'll see you in around 15 minutes. So it's been resting for about 15 minutes now, and we're going to take it out. Three, two, one. Whoa, that has rised a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put this in our active fryer here. You can bake this in an oven or in a homemade oven as well. Okay, I'm baking this at the cake, cake setting for 40 minutes on medium low heat and there it goes. Let's let the magic happen and I'll see you in 40 Time's minutes. Up, and we're gonna be opening it. The moment of truth we've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, that looks amazing. It has that brown press we're looking for, and now let's take it out. Okay. Just gonna keep it here. Okay. Like I think I'm gonna use adult tool to take it out. It's too heavy. This red looks amazing. It has such a beautiful and artistic look. It has dark brown in some areas and light brown in some areas and it looks beautiful. And you go outside and you may or may not find it so you can make it at home. And um, this bread, we're going to let it cool down. And I, you can do it for half an hour, but because I want to eat this tomorrow in Sehri, so I'm gonna be cutting this tomorrow and I'm gonna give this a nice time to just chill and you know, have its own time. I'll see you in Sehri then. It's currently Sehri now and we're gonna try the bread. I salphine this overnight so that it wouldn't harden. breaks through cool. wow this is probably cooked through and you can see those little air holes we want inside and it's so fluffy right now okay i'm gonna try some mm. Yeah, I can taste it and it's really yummy. Like, look at this. Last night I was baking this, the whole house smelled like bread. And it smelled so good. Like, you guys should really try this recipe at home. And if you do, tell me in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like this recipe. And please comment, share, and like my videos. Bye!